Hi, this is Ed from Star Code Sport, and in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can configure Star Code setting. So let's just get started. So you can launch the settings screen by pressing this settings icon on the home screen. Right. So let's start from the general settings page. While using the software, you might have noticed many different tips and messages popping up at different screens. So if you want to disable those tips, you need to check this box here. And um, display theme. So you can switch between dark and light themes or even no theme. So my preference is dark theme, so I will keep that. You can also change the date and time format according to your local language and country settings. So the next setting is scaling factor. If the user interface, which means the buttons and images, look too small on your display, you can magnify it with the help of this scaling feature. You can drag this slider to the right hand side and uh, it will magnify the whole user interface. When you start or install the software first time, the system will adjust the scaling factor automatically. But you can always change it manually at any later stage with the help of this slider. And the next one is font size. So the by default is set to 14, but you can change with the help of these up and down buttons here. So the next is wholesale pricing. This feature is available only in the Pro Edition Starcore Sports dual pricing model. It means you can set two prices for each stock item. One is whole price and another one is the retail price. So what is sub items mode? If you want to sell sub quantities of uh, your stock items, then you need to enable this mode by clicking on this box here. So you can find out more about this uh, sub items mode by clicking on this button here. And here is the further details about this feature. In store code, you can export your sales inventory, stock data, and even the reports in the CSV format. So by default, all your data is separated by, by comma in, in those files, but you can change it to a semicolon or tab. So the next setting is autocomplete search. Autocomplete search. So what happens is there are different yellow search boxes in this software for example in point of sale in, in inventory management also in purchase management uh, there are these search boxes so as you start typing in those boxes system will show you a list of matching items and if you have selected this first option it will show you all the items which start with your search term and if you selected the second option then the software will show you all the items which contain your search term so here's a word of caution. If you have uh, selected the second option, then your search will become a little bit slower. So the last setting is settings import and export. You can export all of your settings with the help of this button. You can press this button and it, and it will export all of your settings to a text file, which you can uh, later on import with the help of this button. This can happen in case of uh, uninstallation and reinstallation of the software or you may want to transfer your software from one computer to another computer. You can take that file to, uh, to other computer and uh, import your settings on that computer with the help of this file.